Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, November 22nd. The week is almost over. You'll be interested to know today is Love Your Freckles Day and Go For a Ride Day. We couldn't decide which to choose, so we went with both. Love Your Freckles Day is all about celebrating and flaunting freckles. Freckles are cute, sun-kissed spots that make most of those blessed with them look wonderfully unique and natural. And grab a bike, boat, car, skateboard, or sleigh. It doesn't matter what you choose. Pick a location you've always wanted to visit and make today the day you'll go. And hopefully you end up someplace for Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow. One more day, people. Now let's check out the weather in our area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and 52 degrees with 55% humidity. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.44 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.25 a.m. It looks like we're in for a day of sun and warm wind. It will be sunny with a high near 78. East wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest in the afternoon. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 55. North wind around 5 miles per hour becoming calm in the evening. The dry Santa Anas continue. Now here is some info from surfline.com. Today we'll get a small refresh of northwest swell as small southwest swell holds. Like to locally moderate offshore flow lingers strongest in the early morning. So there won't be a ton of surf on tap across the region, but conditions will be nice and clean through the morning. Average breaks stay below waist high, while winter and combo standouts see a few waist stomach high waves. Waves will be up a touch on Thursday as Northwest swell continues, and a little short period Northwest pulse joins in. South San Diego will get up to chest to shoulder high on sets during most favorable tides. The first high tide today will be five feet, right around 5.30 a.m. with a 1.5 foot low tide at 11.30 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 64 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, Eastern U.S. storm to bring pre-Thanksgiving travel impacts. A storm with a trailing cold front will sweep across the eastern third of the U.S through Wednesday with strong to severe thunderstorms and heavy rain from the southeast into the mid-Atlantic and coastal New England. Further north, high winds are expected east of Lake Erie and a wintry mix will change to rain for the interior northeast into Wednesday. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real, south, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing eggs benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini during lunch or just breeze through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5, so stop on by and grab a coffee and pastry to go. And don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. Now on to some sports news. The first installment of Hard Knocks, in-season premieres on HBO Max, tonight at 6 p.m. HBO and the NFL team up to give an in-season look at the Miami Dolphins this year. And lots of football to watch tomorrow and Friday. Thanksgiving Day starts out with Packers at Lions at 9.30 a.m., then Commanders at Cowboys and 49ers at Seahawks for the night game. Friday on Amazon Prime, the Dolphins play at the Jets starting at noon. Moving on to the NBA. Last night, the Lakers, playing at home, beat the Jazz 131-99. And tonight, the Clippers are on the road at the Spurs, and the 10-4 Bucks play at the 11-3 Celtics as they battle for the top spots in the Eastern Conference. In national hockey, there were no games last night. Tentists all over the league must have taken a big financial hit from that. But tonight, the Ducks are at home against the Canadians. Now let's talk science for a moment. 
NASA's Psyche spacecraft successfully beamed a message to Earth from 10 million miles away using a giant laser beam. This experiment achieved a milestone, transmitting data to Caltech's Palomar Observatory just north of San Diego. The technology, surpassing previous optical communication distances, could revolutionize spacecraft communication. The achievement is crucial for advancements in high data rate communications, supporting plans for human exploration, including potential Mars missions. And now what to look out for in the stock market this week. Meme stocks are surging in the 2023 stock market rally with Round Hill Meme ETF up 15.2% since October 27. The resurgence is attributed to lower interest rates, benefiting unprofitable meme stocks. The top five holdings in this ETF include Block, Coinbase, Enphase Energy, DraftKings, and Super Microcomputer. And in related entertainment news, now streaming, Dumb Money, starring Paul Dano and a host of characters. From Rotten Tomatoes, Dumb Money's crowd-pleasing dramatization of real-life stock hijinks may not tell the complete story, but it's rusingly entertaining nonetheless. The movie gets high marks from everyone. So roost me, baby. To it. Moving on to more of a local vibe in our community spotlight. We are working with local yoga studios to bring you some free classes. Here's what we love about yoga. Yoga embraces a comprehensive health strategy, fostering flexibility, reducing stress, and enhancing mental well-being. Combining physical activity and mindfulness, it positively impacts vitality. Scientific studies affirm its benefits, linking yoga to improved heart health, lowered blood pressure, and enhanced sleep. It's a well-supported avenue for physical and mental well-being in just a few mindful minutes daily. So keep an ear out in the coming weeks for your opportunity to try out some local spots and get the blood pumping. Namaste, my friends. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the thought of the day. Today, from Yogi Berra, if you don't know where you are going, you might end up someplace else. And if you come to a fork in the road, take it. Nada might be the smartest travel advice I've ever heard. To everyone listening out there, I wish you the safest and best travel luck tonight and tomorrow. Take it easy on yourself and just enjoy the ride. And that's a wrap for this morning. Remember to stay tuned tomorrow for more news and updates. Have an amazing day, my good friends. Whether you're heading to work, an event, or just enjoying the day, stay safe and enjoy your day to the fullest. We'll be back tomorrow with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.